I took the decision quite early on in this new book, Even Dogs in the Wild, that Rebus would no longer be a serving police officer. I knew it would drive my publishers demented, but I had to do it. Um, he lives in something approximate in real time. He's already had one reprieve when they start to talk about changing the retirement age for the cops, so I brought him back for a couple of books. But also it changes the dynamic, it keeps him fresh and it keeps him fresh in my mind so that I can't get complacent and I can't get blasé. And now that he's no longer a serving detective or a serving police officer, of course he hasn't got as much power in many ways. He, ha he hasn't got a badge that he can show to people so they'll let him in and they will answer his questions. On the other hand, he's really freed up. He doesn't have to answer to any bosses at all and I quite like that idea of Rebus unbound, as it were. He can break any number of rules that he wants. Um, but also working very closely with police officers, with Siobhan, with Malcolm Fox. So he's brought in in a consultative capacity and he makes much of this, calling himself a consulting detective and wondering whether he needs a, a sidekick and a, um, a, a sort of housemaid figure and all the rest of it. Can he, is he becoming a Sherlock Holmes figure in his mind? So it's a little bit teasing because of course Arthur Conan Doyle was a son of Edinburgh. Um, so I'm part of a very long tradition, and Rebus is part of a very long tradition of consulting detectives who were created from an Edinburgh setting.